Morning everyone, happy Saturday. Look what just came to our front door. Um, so it's Hala and I's anniversary in two weeks. That's why I got him for our anniversary. He's been wanting a widescreen monitor so he could see more of his code when he works. And I don't know what else he'll need it for, but yeah, likely it'll just be for um, optimizing surface area, I guess. Is the Samsung Viewfinity. Um, where's the model, where's the model? S5, only S5, 34 inch. And let's do a little unboxing. Thanks for getting this. Oh, it's not fun, Dave. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness, it's actually so big. The height feels a little bit unproportional, but. Cool. It's the same height, I think. I, I wish it was taller. Yeah, I wish it was like two inches taller. All small DJI pocket three. <laughs> Wow, holy cow. No, it takes up like two thirds of your desk. Well, that's crazy big. Yeah, I need to raise it by a bit because this one's like up to here. Nice. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for dinner. For dinner, we got some chicken tikka masala. So it was chicken curry and I just made rice at home and then I cut some cucumbers. This looks so good. We were debating between getting um, butter chicken or this, and we hadn't had this curry before, so decided to go with something new today. Chicken. Oh my god, this looks so good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's not spicy. It's just more red than the butter chicken, but it's not spicy. It's pretty spicy to me. Mmm, that's so good. Alright, gonna enjoy dinner and then also watch some YouTube. from ikea first thing is this little planter pot Howell wanted this one he already has one so he wanted a second one he actually wanted two more but these went up in price quite a bit i think it's seven dollars now and i think he said he got his for four once upon a time but a little woven planter second thing i got was this checkered it's this pillow cover and this yellow plaid and the last thing i got was this shelf here i'm planning to hang it in the bathroom Let me open it here's how it looks um let me just put it together it should be fairly quick all right this is kind of the gist of it i'm just gonna screw in this wooden rod i also thought they were gonna provide screws so that we can um screw it to the wall but they didn't they just have the screws for the enough to build this shelf. This side's really tough. I don't know what I did wrong on the side. I'm clamping this between my feet so it doesn't move. I need more grip. That's what I need. Oh, this one went in so much more easily. What was I doing with the other side? This is how it looks like. And then I have these little hooks here attach on like so. I don't know if I'll use these hooks. All right, here I've assembled it. That took me 
way too long. Um, I don't know what that was about. This is gonna go in our bathroom. Right now our bathroom is a little plain looking, so we're gonna see if adding a bit of decor will help it look less plain. Otherwise, we might have to repaint. Hello, just got home from work, and when I entered my office, I saw Helen got me some flowers. Very pretty, light coral color. He didn't put any water in it though. I don't know what's up with that. Growing up, I never really cared for flowers. Like I always thought flowers were pretty, but I just remember like, I just always remember telling anyone that I wasn't really into flowers. Like, no, don't get me flowers. I don't really care for them. They're pretty, but like, what am I gonna do with them? Just look at them and then they will die, right? I started caring for flowers and wanting them as gifts around the time when I was about 25, 26, maybe 24 to 26, somewhere around there. That was after Hal and I were already dating for four years. I didn't realize why at first, but I remember seeing a video on TikTok a while back. I think the video was like, when you find someone that takes you from your masculine era to your feminine era, that's how you know you're like at peace in your relationship. And I do agree with that. I feel like before Howell and even at the start of my relationship with Howell, I was definitely in my masculine era. I wanted to be more independent. I feel like when it came to like paying for things, I would do like 50-50. And I feel like I didn't want to be spoiled. I really didn't want like gifts and like like any of those cutesy kind of stuff, right? But now like I I love it. I want to be spoiled. I want to be treated like a princess sometimes, just like little cutesy things. I think for anyone who knows me, that was never me. I think I would see things online and be like, yeah, that's cute, but that's just not for me. So like just how getting me these roses, it really makes me feel good. And um, it's also something I guess uh, he had to learn in our relationship too, because um, as I said, when we first started dating, I didn't really care for these kind of things and um, that's what he knew of our relationship. And so after four to five years of dating and us already kind of being used to what each other likes and what each other's love languages and expectations are, um, I shifted to this feminine era where I wanted these things and I did communicate with that with him and he had to learn what I liked and um, I also had to consider if this was Part of his like personality too right i feel like he's not the best with gifts but i would say that he does take notice in the things that i need anyway so right, this is very cute this bouquet for me this one for howell Hal is quite a bit of a plant guy. He has uh, shelves of plants here. He has plants on his desk and then he has plants around his room and also plants here. Here's a little shot of his office. I don't think I've ever filmed in here, but yeah, this is his office. Very techy. <laughs> and now he has, and now he has a little rose. I'm gonna go put that bouquet in my office. So this is the fit. I'll show a more uh, full body outfit check later. This is the bag that I'm wearing. It's a bag from Coach that Howell just got me. And this is my makeup. This is a full outfit. This is my bag. And then I'm wearing these shoes that I got from Hudson's Bay uh, a month ago, I think. Off to go. Here's everything I ate at my first omakase dining experience. This is Sushi Maomi here in Vancouver, and spoiler alert, I loved it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. We started off with some genmaicha tea. The color was so beautiful, perfect balance of rice and green tea, so refreshing. Here is a chef Maomi himself, and the first item we got was botan ebi. The prawn was so fresh tasting, I really enjoyed the texture. It was firm yet tender, five out of five. This is Hirame Nigiri. It was so good, so fresh, 4 out of 5.
Next is Soma Katsuo. The texture was good. It was just a little fishy for me. Um, so three and a half out of five. Next is Ori Ika. Uh, this is squid. There's a slight chew to it, which I love. And gosh, everything just tastes so fresh here. Five out of five. Next, we got Homagaru Zuke. It was a good piece of tuna, four out of five. After this, we had some scallop nigiri. I think I was just really excited because I love raw scallop and I totally forgot to film, but the scallop was so fresh tasting. I love the texture, five out of five. Next, we got some uni. This is Mirasaki uni straight from Japan. It was delicious. It was creamy, rich, five out of five. Halfway through, we had some miso soup with prawn head. The broth was so soothing, and if I was in the comforts of my own home, I would definitely would have eaten the prawn head more thoroughly, four out of five. Some more uni. This is buffoon uni from Japan as well. The first one was amazing, and this one was even better. So rich, buttery, creamy, five out of five. Next, we got some toro. This is homagoro chitoro. I absolutely love tuna belly, and this did not disappoint. It was rich, and it just melted in your mouth, five out of five. This is shimaji. I really like the texture of this. It was firm yet light, four and a half out of five. Some more tuna belly, absolutely delicious. The fats were so rich, it just melted in your mouth. I want more, five out of five. Next was saba. I'm not a really huge fan of uncooked mackerel, so it was a little fishy for me, three and a half out of five. Um, at this point, we had a chance to order some extra nigiri and desserts, so we did that. The last item on the omakase set list was anago. It was served warm and it was just okay to me, three and a half out of five. Here's the extra items we ordered. Of course, we had to get some scallop. It was so good, so fresh. I don't think this was the exact type from the set list, but nevertheless, it was so good, four and a half out of five. This is Tirai Gai, I believe. I think it's clam. It was tender, yet had a bite to it. Really good, four out of five. We got a matcha cheesecake and a chocolate cheesecake. The matcha cake was so rich, so creamy, packed with matcha, five out of five. The chocolate cake, oh my god, I wasn't expecting it to be so decadent. It was rich, it was creamy, very smooth, five out of five. Overall, I had a great experience and was a happy girl by the end of the night. Bye.